It's Todd About Town, Todd Walker, entertainment, travel, and more. Hey, Todd, what's new? Here we are again, and we are just about to get into winter carnival season, right? We are. I think it's actually officially started there, Anthony. It <laughs> It has. It has. Where did it start? <laughs> <laughs> right across the street. Yeah, 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 yeah. Huh? You're in St. Paul. Well, I see the tents are up. Yeah, I did too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We are still talking about dry January because we're still in January. And longer days means longer nights. So we have to figure out what we're going to do with those long nights. And Todd's here to talk a little bit about... Uh, the mock cocktail bar suggestions. All right, so people are still in dry January, hopefully. I am. I mean, we're, I have like a week left, Anthony. But, you know, people are getting sick of maybe drinking seltzer waters yeah. and some of those things. So uh, I went out and I tried to find a couple of places that are doing great cocktails that are mocktails. And here are two suggestions. Mocktails. Right. Mocktails, yes. So here are two suggestions. One is Kaluna. Uh-huh. And I got to tell you, this place is fantastic. I went there last night, last week for dinner, mm-hmm. and it's on Lindale Avenue and like, I believe it's right around 42nd Street, okay. but you're going to want to take a look. And this, this is pretty amazing. They have something called the Silk Road Tonic Water. Mm-hmm. Silk Road Tonic Water. So that's the mocktail? That's the mocktail. Uh-huh. You want to know what's in it? Uh, it must be a fairy tale. Uh, okay. Okay. I, it's, here's the deal. Half right. of these things I've never heard of. Right. One is called a horse chestnut, uh-huh. a cubeb. I don't uh-huh. know what that is. A cubeb is a short little <laughs> it's, no, it's not fairy a, thing. I don't think I want oh. that in my cocktail. Oh, okay. And then cardamom, black pepper, blue lotus, something called amia, and then CO2. CO2, like the cartridge? Yeah. CO2? I guess. So it cool. makes a little fizz to it. Right, 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 right. The other one is colita in Minneapolis. And this is aqua de Jamaican hibiscus, mm-hmm. allspice, clove, and once again, CO2. But these are really fancy, yeah. non-alcoholic right. mocktails. So if you want to still have fun... What does clove do to the drink? Well, I actually like clove yeah. in a drink. It kind of gives it a little bit more of a... Um, not citrus, but there's yeah. a little bit of citrus. Organicness. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 organic. That's the word I was looking for. All right, so you mentioned the winter, winter carnival. carnival. So mm-hmm. we're this, mo- this today, we're going to talk about all these things that are going on for people to go out and enjoy the bold north. And one of them, of course, is the St. Paul Winter Carnival. Yes. And have, have you taken part in some of the acti- activities from the Winter Carnival in the past? I, oh, yeah. I, well, we used to go uh, down the sled. We used to go to the ice castles. We used to go to those races out at uh, Como Lake. So, yeah. I, yeah. And, and it, you know, it's, it's, it's part of our culture. It's fun. It's yeah. fun things to do. Yeah. So I have put together an entire list of all the things that are happening for the Winter Carnival. So you can check out, uh, of course, this, this, this video itself. And we'll have links to all the things that are happening around the St. Paul Winter Carnival. There's so many, so many different activities. The Winter Carnival is officially open and running right now. Mm-hmm. And it runs through February 6th. Most of the events are free and you're open to the public. But right here in the best clothing store in the five-state right area. Right here, right yeah. now. Is is of yes. course Jaime's, which I consider almost like the epicenter what can I say? of where things are happening. Because yeah. right across the street and Rice Park, as you said earlier, the tents are going up. Right, right across from Landmarks. Those Center. signature events, the scavenger hunt, ice fishing tournament, royal coronation. Royal Coronation. Are you going to be there? Uh, I have been in the yeah. past. Yeah. And it, little known fact here, that Coronation sells out every single year. And people coming in from around yeah. the country that are royalty from different mm-hmm. uh, different events like mm-hmm. this around the United States. Parades. Tell me, do you get dates on parades? Uh, you know what? You check out the website once again uh-huh. because there's various different parades going mm-hmm. on. And, of course, the overthrow is something that I've actually read the legend fr- in the past in front of all the people that are coming downtown St. Paul on the steps of the, uh, of the library. And that's a pretty exciting event. ice carvings. Ice carvings. The ice sculptures over here at Rice Park yes. are unbelievable. Because they weren't there last year. Or well, you know, we had some issues yeah. in the last couple of years. One yeah. year there was a lot of melting going right. on, and uh, yeah, but it's 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 really fun to see. And one thing not to miss: go out to the uh, Minnesota State Fairgrounds. Mm-hmm. In St. Paul, and that's kind of the Vulcan Park, right? And so they have snow sculptures. That's, that's kind of scary. Is, Vulcan Park. <laughs> if, well, I don't. I, I didn't get scared, but uh, yeah. you know, I guess if you're afraid of uh, big Vulcans, fire, fire and ice. Right, right. 
Moving on to the Great Northern Festival. Yeah, now this is something that has happened just over the last couple of years, and it's kind of an um, umbrella event that takes in all the different activities, including the Winter Carnival, mm -hmm. that are happening for us to basically embrace the Bold North. And this also runs through February 6th, and it happens from Minneapolis to St. Paul, and all the events uh, are actually converging during this period for people to go out and enjoy Minnesota. It's hard to believe they're doing music outside, huh? Yeah, music yeah. outside. Yeah. There's pond hockey, and if you've never done the City of Lakes Lope It, mm -hmm. this is really, really a fun event. It starts at Theodore Worth Park, yeah. and it's a lit, uh, they actually light the path. It's very pretty. So Todd actually found a rodeo for cats. <laughs> a oh. rodeo for cats? Oh, we're talking cats later, but we're talking horses. We, yes. We're not going to ride the cats. No, right? no, 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 no. I guess you What's going try. on with the Sense World? Uh, this is the world's river? toughest rodeo. Yeah. And this is happening over the XL Energy Center. I've gone in the past. It mm -hmm. is a lot of fun. And uh, the doors open at five, 6 o'clock. And I share that because you go early because they have pre-rodeo events mm -hmm. that are happening all throughout the uh, stadium or uh, the XL Energy Center. Mm -hmm. Tickets start at $16. Nice. Very affordable. Very great event. Battle to the finish. Yes. Now, you talked cats. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I don't know you if you're... You can't ride a cat. Yeah, are you a cat lover? I love cats. <laughs> cats All right, yeah. so the cats, this is the Saintly City Cat Club Annual Championship Cat Show. And that is happening... Can we get a sound effect on that? <laughs> you could, sure, you could do a big, yeah, a big <laughs> meow. Yeah. And this is happening at Roy Wilkins, Wilkins Auditorium yeah. in St. Paul. And uh, this runs through the 30th of January. Boy, Roy Wilkins, that auditorium has served us well, hasn't it? It certainly has, yeah. It's, it, and it gets It's packed. a great place to have an event. And we're talking admissions, adults, $4.00. Children, Senior Street. Yeah, it's very, very that's, affordable. That's terrific. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, twenty six different breeds. Yeah, okay. it's it's really. Okay. I've gone in the past, and right. it's, it's right. if you're a cat lover, this is where you're going to want to be. And then I, I, there's a few cats in Harry Potter. Is right? there? Yeah, I've think, never been a big, huge Harry Potter. Yeah, the the, the, the Harry the cat that goes through the 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 the, 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 the guy in the. I'll trust anyway, you yeah, on this one. No, it's pretty good. I'll trust yeah, you on this yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Harry All Potter. right, so he brings up Harry Potter because this is something that the, uh, the that's happening at Orchestra Hall, mm -hmm. and people really love this. Wow. They take different great, great films, right. uh, and then they have the orchestra plays the music. Mm -hmm. So live live orchestra right. playing the music, and then they have the the uh, film running behind the orchestra, mm -hmm. and this is happening. So if you're a Harry Potter fan, you're right. not going to want to miss this. Can you, the volume, the oh, sound. Oh, yeah. It's going to be great. Yes, yes, yes. Tickets start at forty-one dollars. So if you're looking for an indoor activity, right. that's the place to go. And then, then we move on to, of course, the uh, Minnesota Timberwolves. How are they doing this year? The Minnesota Timberwolves are uh, in yeah. and out. I, you know, right. they're just doing okay. Right. But I have, but if you haven't been to a game, the games are so much fun because mm -hmm. there's so many activities before the game, uh, be be between the quarters, quarters, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, that are so much fun to watch. So periods, up. period. No, periods are mine. Court? <laughs> I, I saw suits. I don't hey, know why that's escaping me right now. <laughs> but tickets start eleven dollars. Very affordable event. So head down to uh, the Target Center and check right. that out as well. So another another. Great weekend of events. I don't know how you choose. Yeah, I know. One at but, a time. But honestly, get out and embrace the bold north and experience some of these great things that are happening. I mean, there's outdoor arts activities. There's there's theater activities. There's music in the parks. Wow. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be fun. I'm I'm getting off the couch this weekend. I'm going to go to some of these things. I appreciate you watching the show, Todd. Thanks for coming on hey, and, and, and sharing all these great things to do. I know. We'll it's going to be fun. Week. Hello and welcome to High Knee Cabadachery. This is Amy, the hypnotist for Coffee Talk. Years ago, I had the privilege of interviewing Neil Simon, the famous author and playwright, mostly known for The Odd Couple, which also became a great TV series. And while I was interviewing him, I asked him, what is it like having people interacting at you instead of with you? And he got this impish look on his face. He leaned forward and he looked at me and he said, Frankly, I'm just waiting for everybody to figure out that I have no idea what I'm doing. And then he laughed. Now, Neil Simon was kidding, but he's a wise man and he was on to something. And that was the imposter syndrome, which is the concept that you don't deserve or you somehow aren't qualified for the position that you carry. And for people that have an extreme form of this, it can be really debilitating. Good news is, with professional counseling, you can take care of this, move forward. For the rest of us, 
having the confidence is just something that kind of happens and ebbs and flows every day. So maybe we can take a note from Neil Simon's book and when you're feeling a little insecure, realize that it happens to everybody. Get a little impish look on your face and laugh. See you next week at Jaime's Haberdashery for Coffee Talk.